Ain't no secret, should do Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down in the video so I can sub back to you. Deuce. Hey fam, those that have been watching me, I've been saying that in 2024, it's gonna be the year of exposure. And God is exposing certain people. People that normally was able to use their power, their influence, and their money to silence people, those days are over. And before I hear people saying that, oh, this is sown tear in the body of Christ, the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. So before you say, touch not my anointing, be, do my prophets no harm. That's a Nessian statement because that scripture is referring to Israel. You're taking a scripture out of context. And if the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth, then speaking truth is not sowing tears. It's bringing reformation and healing. In my 20s, I got to be around some of the biggest men and women of God. And I got to witness things because I got to see them without their armor. One of the things that really happens and seldom talk about is that there's something called and it happens in the Pentecostal church, it happens in many churches, but I'm referring to the black church specifically. And what that means is that there'll be a bishop, a pastor, apostle, someone who has big conferences, everybody knows, oh my God, they're the holy man of God. And they will pick their victims and they grow. And it first goes through stage one where they ask questions. What are you into? What do you like? You need to tell daddy everything. And so they're using verbosity and they're using this type of garrulous narrative to try to make you feel uh, comfort, to make you build comfort with their victim. And then from there, it goes into stage two. And stage two is where it begins to become sad. And it first starts by either making facetious jokes, um, making little statements in the windows. And then it goes into the questions of what turns you on? What do you like? You need to tell me this because I need to know because I need to be able to pray for you. So it's almost like a psychological power game that they're playing with you. And in your head, if you say something wrong, they project it on you. They body shame you. Oh, you're too. Oh, look at your body. Oh, you're the one that's making me do this. Oh, you. And so you have that in the back of your head. And then you also have in their head of their dumb, misinformed followers who are pushing this predatory narrative because they're so in awe with either trying to be like them, either worshiping them or not worshiping God or worshiping their denomination or where they come from. And so they're not even there seeing with the eyes of truth, but they're there seeing out of carnality. And so they're sitting up there and they're protecting them. And the leader, the bishop, the pastor, they know this. And so they know and they feel invisible. Oh, I can get away with this. I just have to make a statement to my church. I just have to tell them and they're never going to question. Why is it so many people? Why is it always coming up? Why is everybody lying? So everybody's lying. Where there's a mouse, there's mice. And then it goes into the third stage. And the third stage is where they try to become intimate with you. And if you do not allow this, they drop you. They treat you like you're nothing. And they abandon that young male or that young woman. But from my experience, I can only speak from a young male point of view. They abandon that young male and they treat them like they're nothing because they didn't acquiesce to what they wanted. To say. And they look at them. And they know they can get away with it because their followers are not people that love the Lord. They worship the pastor. They worship the bishop. So they're not seeking for truth. And so this is the day and age that we're in. And I still believe that there are believers that do not worship personality, so to speak. They don't care who you are. They don't care if you're bishop this, prophet this, apostle that. But they really love the Lord. And so they really are worshiping the spirit of truth which is Jesus, and they really are about that, and so they can see past that. I wanna to say to victims that might not have a platform or might feel like you're gonna be judged or you can't say nothing, because this is what they try to tell you. You're gonna be judged, you can't say nothing. You're sowing seed of tear. You, you know, God is the judge. Yeah, we know God is the judge, but God judges people also through legal systems. God judges people also through other people. There's a group of Christians and we're here and we believe in you and we're here to support you. And if you've been feeling in your heart that you can't say nothing, now is the time for you to speak out. There's still a remnant group of Christians that are not worshiping celebrities. They're not worshiping how big someone's conference is, who they are, or their name, or their notoriety. But they believe in truth and they're here for you. And I'm not a victim but I am someone that is speaking truth to help victims that have experienced this to say, we see you. And there's a group of Christians, men and women of God, that are the true men and women of God that are here to pray for you. Some of the biggest monsters are 
right in front of your face and they manipulate their pulpit to push their nasty agenda and their followers are duplicitous. Ain't no secret should do with Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down a post. I'ma sub back to you. Rit, 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 rit. Now I'm talking about, hey, my people, y'all know why we here. So, man, it's been so much since then came out behind the Diddy Cassie civil lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? And it's still more unfolding. You know what I'm saying? Since then, since the settlement, Cassie has given the feds a burner phone, a, a former burner phone of um, Kim Porter, um, did the mother of did some of Diddy's children who met a mysterious demise. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kim Porter's former um, boyfriend, Al be sure he has he has always attested that she perished under fishy circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Always thought that Diddy was the cause of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then now with Diddy, behind Diddy, now we're seeing it unfold for T.D. Jakes. Now, T.D. Jakes, a prophet, prophet, Manasseh Jordan has come forward. Y'all heard, just heard his, his statement, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and, and it's definitely... We're going to see how this unfolds, but it's going to be more. It's more and more. And Manasseh Jordan, Prophet Jordan, he's stating that it's more people that's going to be coming forward in 2024 um, against T.D. Jakes. And then T.D. Jakes, um, at his Christmas Eve sermon, he came out st stating that he wasn't going to address the, the allegations, stating there were lies. But throughout the whole sermon, he kept going back to it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm done to worry about. When you, I think we're all, we all can read body language. You can read people. You know what I'm saying? When a person always keeps coming out, I'm good. I'm good. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. They worried. You know what I'm saying? It's not good. You know what I'm saying? He came out on his plat, And that's when he should have separated the sermon from his personal life. But he kept diving back into his personal life. And then he actually had a deleted um, part of his sermon, T.D. Jakes did, where he basically stated, and I'm paraphrasing, like, and even if I did do the things that I'm accused of, I can just ask God for forgiveness. I can repent and I'll get God's forgiveness. What innocent man that you know of comes out and says something like that? You know what I'm saying? When he's accused of the crime, you know what I'm saying? He's accused of, you know what I'm saying? Just um, being adulterer with men, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly women as well. Men for sure. This is a man who came forward. Now, you heard um, Prophet Jordan. They um, T.D. Jakes tried to escalate his plan. You know what I'm saying? He had that systematic plan, you know what I'm saying, that he used to, uh, to vet his, his uh, potential prey. You know what I'm saying? So, fortunately for uh, Manasseh Jordan, he alleges that nothing took place. When it finally got time for action... He said, no, thank you. You know what I'm saying? And of course, he's cast out. But, always a but. A lot of times when, especially like a person of authority or um, a person you look up to or, you know what I'm saying, a person of the cloth, they do something bad, you know what I'm saying, to a person, usually that person will leave the church, you know what I'm saying, for the most part, or they might lose their faith or their faith might waver. They might go out of, you know what I'm saying, leave the church or whatnot. I'm happy to see that um, Manasseh Jordan is still preaching. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get awareness out here. And I'm glad he came forward to expose T.D. Jakes, man, because um, dude is one of the, he's definitely, is, it seems he's a wolf in sheep's clothing, like the epitome of the wolf in sheep's clothing. Out here praying on young, on young men, young women, but this is just a tale from the male perspective, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't comply to what he wants, he cash you out, you know what I'm saying? But T even before this, T.D. Jakes, it is what it is. All those mega church pastors, man, that's on them, man. I got nothing to get some. I'm just not for me. But this right here, hey, man, it's just one more thing. And all this coming from your boy P. Diddy, man. It's been definitely a butterfly effect, man. So, hey, 
Manasseh Jordan says going to be more people coming forward. We're going to see. You know I'm going to keep y'all in tune, Renegades. Hey, man, that's just how I see it. Should do Eddie Kane Jr. If you ain't no Renegade, hit that sub button. You want to join us on the low-key, friendly mission, hit that join button. Welcome to the Renegades. Dude.